This is the uh, North Star NS100TS, the dual station uh, marine radio, VHF marine radio. I'll uh, show you what uh, what this system actually comprises of. This is the uh, uh, radio module. This would be built somewhere within your boat, out of view. It has uh, a power input. This is a power cable. Uh, this is for a halo system, optional. This goes to the uh, speaker and the control unit. This is the speaker unit, so this long cable goes to the compute uh, uh, to the speaker, which you would mount in the bulkhead somewhere. Four screws, you would uh, mount it. Then from the speaker unit, we go again with a long cable to a bulkhead connector, and from there we go to the control unit. This is a uh, control unit slash microphone slash speaker. It has this built-in speaker as well. There is a push to talk. This is the uh, emergency distress button. Volume control on the side. Um, I am supplying the unit right now from a uh, stationary power supply. 12 volt DC is what it uses. Uh, this, this power cable or so has the uh, NMEA connections, four of them. It's a, it's a standardized serial protocol to be hooked up to a uh, GPS receiver. That then will take care of your uh, DRS, which can be programmed from the, the headset. So let's turn it on. We basically turn it on here, volume control. That's it. Right now at channel uh, 69, it has all the standard marine channels. Sixteen would be the uh, emergency channel. It can do a dual uh, a scan for sixteen and nine. With nine, I think, is also some kind of emergency channel. There is a call button, a function to program it, and I'll show you that later. This is the squelch. As you can hear, we also have a speaker in the handset. The volume can be set on the side. So if you... Uh, If you have a lot of noise on your boat, you can basically hold this close to your ear, make it some kind of a handset. There is not a hell of a lot going on here where I live on the VHF Marine, but we can uh, we can switch it to the weather channels. Temperature 85, wave high 2 feet, wave 4 seconds. 210 miles west of Cap. So it has all uh, 10 weather channels built in. Sea temperature 87 degrees. Air temperature 84. Wave height 1 foot. Wave period 3. 40%. Monday, partly cloudy in the morning, then becoming sunny. Listening area in the midnight wing counties in Florida, DeSoto, Hardy, Manatee. Here it warns us that there is no GPS receiver connected. Northport, Sarasota, that Venice, warning Port comes Charlotte, up only once after you turn it on. Tonight, partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s to the coast and in the lower 70s inland. Northwest winds around... Okay, we'll show you the uh, transmit function. Tuesday, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. For that we'll switch over to the dummy load. We'll go back to the uh, to the state channels. Let's go to a not official channel, which is 69. Is the 69 and 70? I think 69, 68. We are at 69 right now. I have a uh, another marine radio that we can use. 
uh, as a second station. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. As you see, that works. We're at low power now. I can switch the unit to high power, which is 25 watts. We're at high power now. One, two, three, four, five. 25 watts. 25 watts in the dummy load. Let's uh, transmit using the handheld. One, two, three. Volume is a bit low here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, this is a real speaker. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That has a lot more volume. The unit can be programmed for a multitude of functions. The manual explains it all. You can set up the DSC this way, your own personal DSC. Uh, let's see, function, menu, body list, whatever that is. Local distance, US international, Canadian. GPS, uh, you can fill in your GPS coordinates, I guess, or read it out, I'm not sure. DSC setup, uh, if we do that, well, it probably means more to you than it does to me. But all this can be uh, programmed. This radio is compatible with the latest DSC standard, DSC 4, I think it is. Radio setup. Channel name, you can program your own, you can label your own channels. Weather alert, so you don't have to constantly listen to the weather channel only when there is an emergency. This is to uh, reset it and contrast for the display. It's a very versatile radio. This, this radio is, uh, is definitely a high end uh, uh, marine radio, VSF Marine. It was used in all the uh, more expensive. Uh, Vessels like uh, pleasure yachts and uh, smaller commercial vessels use it as well. This particular one uh, comes with the box and everything. It is like like new. We still got the temp the mounting templates there, the, uh, the individual boxes. Like I said, this is the version uh, with the dual station capability that actually plugs in here. Most other units have just a dummy plug here. This one has that uh, installed. The uh, Nordstar NS100DS. It's a uh, high-end VHF uh, marine radio. And very easy to, uh, to build into your boat. All you would have to do is mount this somewhere behind a uh, panel. Uh, you gotta cut a hole for this here and make it flush into a bulkhead. The template to do that is included and then you basically mount this cable on the bulkhead together with this feed through and uh, and mount the microphone easiest one two three this particular one has a improved microphone cord that was professionally replaced people that know this radio probably know that these these the original microphones the plastic crumbles after a while that's not going to happen here. The way you would mount this is uh, you, you first you take off this disc, you, you basically put this through your hole that you cut out in your bulk head, then you first mount this here and then you can connect this uh, this, uh, this plugs right into here. I can't get it off with one hand. Sorry about that. Oh, there it goes. So what you would do is Take off this disc. Uh, again, you know, it's hard with one hand. Basically, you take off this disc, you get this through the hole, put the disc back, mount the disc with three screws, 
and then you're ready here to go. You plug in the microphone when you use the radio. When you don't use your boat, you just take it off and you can take the microphone somewhere else so it doesn't get stolen. As you can see, this is an improved uh, an improved connector over the original one. The original one has pins that bend real easily. That won't happen on this uh, improved connector. And the improved cord. That's all included. All right. The NS100 DS. Thank you for watching this video.